And here we go. Lights are up. Going up now. The Nexus IndyCar Series is under green for the first time this season. We already have trouble in the back. We've got Steven Ritter on the only car up top in primaries. Somebody losing their front wing now. Coming into turn one. Three wide. Gregory Shaw making moves up to the front. Already up to P3. Still two wide. Way in the back. Jeff. A whooker in this Chevrolet powered Indy car. We got cars off in the grass here. And in the grass, still in the grass. Coming, I don't even know how to explain this. This is crazy. Jake, take it away. Here into the dog leg and into the Lamas section for the first time. You see this guy starting to spread out a little bit. You see the 15 of Hopkins off track here. He's going to keep it going. He's going to run wide. He's going to lose multiple positions here. He's going to blend back in line here in P10. This is unbelievable. What a start to the Grand Prix here. As you see, James Pierce continuing to lead us. We got a little bit of a battle here. Gregory Shaw was looking to the inside here of Travis Smith. As we're going through turns eight and nine now. Yeah, Whiting still all over the rear here of Cameron Keeley. He's going to try and follow him in here through the dog leg down here into turn five to start the Lamar section of this racetrack. You see Kaylee go a little wide. Here comes Whiting. Is he going to send it in or on the inside of turn seven? We're going to have to see side by side here. Down the Omen straight. Little drag racing action here in the Indy cars. You got to love it. Oh, somebody's sideways there in the back. He's going to hang out to it. But we're going to go side by side down here into turn eight. Whiting and Kaylee. Coming into the final quarters now, still side by side, the 24 out breaks the 63, locks him up! The 63 is all over the rear bumper of the 24, now coming through Sunset Drive and onto the front straightaway. Cameron Keeley now, under attack by Drew Hopkins, on board, we're going to go three wide into turn one! What an unbelievable battle, Drew Hopkins! Two cars in one corner, makes it happen, and now he's coming under attack by Jordan Whiting on the inside, through turns three, two, and three. Jordan Whiting coming back out on top. And then off of turn seven, another right-hander. Oh. Can he get close enough? Oh, Hopkins grabs some grass there. That's going to give Kaylee a great run here. Down the Omen straight. No, oh, he's playing the whole defensive as Hopkins. Here comes Kaylee to the outside. Can he play some cat and mouse on the brakes here to turn eight? We're still wheel to wheel here. This is incredible through turn eight. Looks like Hopkins got the inside for turn one. But yeah, when Kaylee's going to get back oh. to the throttle. Oh, we got a car parked on the track. I think that's Dallas Seward. But Kaylee makes the pass. Yes, Keita's on the pursuit of Haldane, but he also has his rear view mirror full of the O2 of Collier. But here comes Haldane. He's trying to make a move here on the 42 of Waylon. He's going to look to the outside. This is going to be a tough move to make here on the outside. But here oh, comes Keita. Oh, the oh, wing. The move. Bring on the brakes. Haldane is around. Contact was made. There goes the rear wing for Haldane. Haldane getting some rear. Oh, he gets tabled. Oh, big contact. Big wreck in turn one. one. The seven cars involved. Capone is in it. Brad Haldane is in it. Oh, we got a battle here. Wubker getting passed here by the 24 of Whiting. Whiting is on the chart. Oh, he locks him up. Oh, oh we got contact. contact. 63 and Cameron Keeley has front wing damage now. Now we'll go back to our closest battle on track. This is Kevin Whalen under attack now by Takeshi Kita going after Jeff Wubker. At the same time, Wubker has missing, is missing his front wing. Half of his front wing now coming down the Ullman straight. Oh, oh the contact! Takeshi now losing his rear wing. Unbelievable. Here we go. We're going to get a replay of Blake Nave going through turn one, now headed for turn two. Does he lock him up? Oh, he does. He gets a little wide, locks him up. Oh, oh no! Track. Oh, Pussy. no! Big contact! There's, that's the 24 involved. Red Collar coming to the inside in turn one. They're too wide now coming into turn two. Let's see what Jeff Wubker does. Oh, Wubker still hanging on with the wing as Connor goes wide. That's going to open the door for one car on turn three out of Hampton. Here we are for the dog leg side by side. Wubker is just digging with a missing wing. He's going to go to the inside into turn five. Contact with Collier. They're going to go wide. Oh, my goodness. Does Collier make the move? Wubker's still digging on the oh, inside. Oh, he gets in the grass. Collier's on the track. Here comes here multiple guys closing on this battle. Wubker defensive here down the back. Swindell now on the inside of Wubker. He does not want to give up this position, even with a missing wing part on that front of that car. The 62 gets around in that Kia. Now Wubker under attack by Steven Ritters and Rob Collier. Steven Ritters in the 99 having a terrible start to this race. He now finds himself back inside the top 10 with those primary tires. Yes, Collier gets a little wide, almost grabs some grass. He's going to use the slipstream behind the, the Wubker car. 
The 9 can Collier make a move here in a turn eight? He's gonna look to the inside with a passing maneuver. Does he make it happen? A little cat and mouse on the brakes. Webker again, super aggressive on the brakes. Can he hold that outside line? He's still side by side with Collier. Here in a turn nine, he's gonna have to relent that position. Collier finally makes the move. A little bit of slipstream here down across the Ullman straight. He is using the push to pass. Whoa. He's gonna look to the outside. What a late move there to the outside of the 42 Wayland. Here comes Ritters. Can he make a move? He does. He's gonna move up to P7 now. This is unbelievable as he runs wide. Up to P7. Unbelievable drive here by Ritters. As you see, Webker drop right up to the bumper here. Maybe he'd be able to make a move here in a turn one. He's right on the rear bumper here. Here he goes to the inside. Can he make this pass in a turn one? Wheel the wheel here. Capone's gonna hang it on the outside. He's gonna be able to hold that spot there. He is a lap down, but he's still holding that running position here on the track. As you see, Webker's still trying to make a move here off of turn three. Here he goes to the inside. Can he get by Capone here? Capone on that outside last time I was able to hold a position. He does it again. This is unbelievable. Look at the 19 of Mulvey. Gives Scout shot out of a rocket there off a turn. Oh, lock up by Capone. Oh, contact might have been made there. Unbelievable. They're going to all continue on here. Wow, that was a tight moment there in turns two and three. Here we go. We're going to see what Collier could do down this front straightaway set up for turn one. Collier's been really good using the outside line on entry here into turn one. See if he can take it maybe to the inside. We're looking maybe side by side. Collier, brave. Showtime, doing showtime things. Makes the move around the outside for P6. That's Down the front straightaway, Rob Collier is catching Richard Swindell. Let's see if he makes a move into turn one. He's going to dive it on deep. Oh, lots of net code. Lots of net code between these two drivers. That is so unfortunate for Richard Swindell. Let's see, coming through the final corner, battling with the 42, who is a lap down. Oh, he just lost it. He just lost it. Look at this. Steven Ritter already within a half second of Alexander White behind him. Coming down Ullman straight into the final corners. Look at that breaking zone. Holy oh cow. God. Look how much time he made up. Oh, Alexander White loses it. Oh, yeah. He puts it, almost puts it into the wall. I called it too soon. I called it too soon. Can he oh. run them down? This is going to get tight. We got the, we got Wubker is so aggressive on the brakes. Mulvey, can he play defensive here? What does Cameron Keeley do? Oh, they're all aggressive on the brakes. Here comes Wubker to the inside. Can he make the move into turn eight? We're still wheel to wheel. Cameron Keeley's licking his child back here. Where is he going to go? Still side by side here on a turn nine. Well, Kurt makes it happen almost. No, he does. Oh, we're three wide going into turn one. Jeff Walker, Cameron Keeley, and Ryan Mulvey now. Mulvey backs out of the situation, almost makes contact with the 9 Mulvey finds himself almost off track there. Wubker still losing out on a position there as Cameron Keeley capitalizes, makes two passes in the matter of two corners. Yeah, as now it looks like there's only a 1.8 second gap between third and fourth, so Ritter's looking for that podium position. No cars in between him and Travis Smith. As Smith has got a little bit of lap traffic here in front of him. This could get tight here as it looks like Javon's going to give the room to Smith here. Now he's been Ritter's get by him here through the dog leg. He's not going to get there. That's not going to hurt him too Oh, bad. no, oh, don't do that. Oh, no, there goes Ritter's. Ritters loses oh. half of his wing. Oh, and he spins out even more than 19 going through the grass. An unbelievable turn of events for the 99. Oh, that he's broke. That's a 33. That's Greg Shaw. He's big broke. Oh, no. The right front is gone off of that thing, and he's going to have to come down pit road as Steven Ritter stays out with a half a wing in P3. Yeah, Hopkins is flying right now. He's oh, already Ritter's caught off. Oh, his Ritter's is sideways. Off the track. Oh, oh Hopkins. Mulvey and oh, he spins oh, around. Oh, Hopkins. Oh, my goodness. This is unreal as Hopkins was flying and makes some contact. Ritter's off the track. This race has just been absolutely insane. Yeah, Alexander Light was on an absolute terror. I was watching him cut that gap down by intense and tense as fast as possible. Here he is to the back of Hopkins. Hopkins maybe a little damage on the front end of that car. We saw him make that contact with Mulvey. Oh, is that Dallas in the wall in front of him? But here comes Alexander Light. He's going to get a great run here in a turn one. 
side by side with Hopkins. Little cat and mouse on the brakes. It looks like Alexander White's gonna take over P4. Oh, he's, he's coming, coming back, back to the back. inside. Oh, crossover move. Crossover by Hopkins. He's to the outside. Does he make the move Again. back? Again. Another crossover. Another crossover. Hopkins is gonna take the lead off of turn three. Wow, what a series of moves that we saw there. Looks like Alexander White, he's looking to the inside. So close here, using up all the curbs. Coming through Le Mans now. Uh, Alexander White to the inside, he's going to take it. But the crossover, once again, Drew Hopkins to the inside. Coming down, Molly's... I don't even know what Strand is called anymore. It's the strip back straight away. Coming into the final corners. Drew Hopkins with a little bit of a lead. Here comes Alexander Light with the breaking power of that BMW Indy car. Now coming through. Sunset corner. Here he comes oh. back to the inside. Unbelievable. These guys are going at it right now. Crossing the start finish line and into turn one. Wow, this is insane! Here comes Alexander White on the outside! Can he make another move at Hopkins? Those guys have just been crossing each other over like crazy! Light is aggressive in a turn two! Love a lockup by Hopkins! Alexander Light has no room here off of turn three! This is insane! I'm losing my mind up here in the booth! Through the dog leg now! Here comes Alexander Light continuing to pursue the 15 of Hopkins! This is where Alexander Light did good last time by! He goes loose to the inside off of turn seven off of Lamar! Down the open straight! This is gonna be an opportunity here for the 34 of Alexander Light. He's still got seven push to pass. His Hopkins only got two. Can he make a move here in a turn tape? In a sunset. Here they come. Oh, he's thinking about it. He's not going to make it happen now. Coming through the final. Oh, the 15 sideways. He saves oh! it. Here comes Alexander Light for P3. That's going to put a gap on him. The battling is done between these two momentarily. Yeah, unbelievable. I just looked up at the scoring board there. It looked like James Pierce finally used his first push to pass. 56 <laughs> laps in. Finally uses one. Unbelievable. He's still got nine to go. He's oh, just on a tear. Look at this. And the last lap time. Fastest lap of the race. A 54.99. He is just out of this world. Coming through the dog leg into the S's. James Pierce. Oh, Travis Smith gets a little wide there. That's going to make him lose a lot of time coming into Lamar Corner. And down on the straight, he gets loose once again. Saves it. Let's see if James Pierce uses push the pass. He does not. Now shifting through the gears up to six gear. He's going to get a great draft. Going into the final corner. Travis Smith going on the defensive and going into the final corner. He's going to make it happen on the outside. There he goes. Oh, real close to the wall. No, he's still there. Travis Smith battling hard on the inside. Travis Smith is fighting. He doesn't want to go lap down here, but I don't think he has anything to say about it here in a turn one. Is James Pierce has now done an accolade. He has put the entire field one lap behind himself as we got three laps to go here in the Sunshine Grand Prix. The whole lap over second place. Unbelievable way to start a season. What an unbelievable race we have witnessed from start to finish. Battles throughout. A little bit of carnage, a little bit of survival game, but off a of turn nine. It is James Pierce who's going to take the victory in the Sunshine Grand Prix. James, James, what a drive you had tonight. You put the whole field one lap down. Wow. Okay, this is this is the same question I ask most people when we go into a race like this. How much do you charge for your clinic that you put on? <laughs> uh free. <laughs> oh, it's free. I mean, whatever, whatever SK wants. <laughs> <laughs> it's he said it's Austria. free. Hey, come on, come on down to the Nexus Sim Racing Leagues. Get yourself a free clinic here by James Pierce and become a better driver. That's all I heard. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, that was that was a good one. I felt, raced quite hard on it and uh, being in the chat with the boys and <laughs> trying to catch them back on the uh, on the lap down challenge was kind of fun. But no, I think everyone ran a good race. It was just you know I felt really comfortable in the car for the first time in a while, so pretty good with that. And you know just let the cards fall. And that one didn't make any big mistakes considering I had driven it quite a bit. So glad with that one. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you come out here, you put it on pole, you said you only put one lap of practice in, and uh, you just drive away from the field. What we saw tonight was just that natural driving talent that we see uh, with with plenty of other leagues. Uh, but James, tonight, you were on top of the world. You n Nobody had what you had tonight. A very, very impressive performance. Congratulations on your win tonight, James. Uh, Jay, that's all I got for James here. What do you got for him? 
Yeah, I got a couple questions here for James. So we, I've talked to you off stream about this. So I want to bring it up here in the chat or in the live stream here. Dega Boys are putting up a Grand Slam challenge for any driver who's able to win in all three series this season. So James, my question is, we're we going to see you on Sundays and Wednesdays now. You're one third there, man. <laughs> Wednesdays is a gamble, but the uh, the hopefully I'll be there for the Sunday sports car. Even though it's my birthday, I should be going to uh, oh. should be racing on Daytona with you guys. All right. So. Well, maybe Alrighty. the birthday boy can get a, a race win, right? Yeah, from the back of the grid, because uh, my dad's birthday was uh, celebration was yesterday, so I couldn't make it to the uh, couldn't make it to the uh, qualifying. <laughs> so we'll have to start from the back, but I, I'll take the challenge. I'm looking forward to it. Heck yeah! All right, well there it is. We might see some James around here a little often, see if we can get this Grand Slam challenge here done. But my last question here, James, for you is who do you have to thank for your absolute thrilling dominant performance here tonight at Sebring? Uh, I'd like to thank Fantech uh, for you know their their equipment support and their equipment that it's allowed me to do well, as well as uh, Pulse Designs, uh, everyone at the two one two group uh, that I've brought in so far. Um, but they, they've really kind of become a home for me as I'm I'm still kind of you know navigating, not really being on fully dedicated to a team. So it's good to see I have a family at the moment and and I'm enjoying racing with them. So thank them, as well as thank the boys at uh, at Racing Aces. They're uh, kind of the little homies for me. So. I enjoy racing with them, and it's pretty much a family family environment there as well. So I enjoy coming in here and chatting with them during during the races out here. So thank them as well, and you guys too. So for you know putting on a good league and putting on a good show for all of us to enjoy, and really kind of culminates in a good package that uh, I think a lot of people would love to be a part of. So for all the people that have signed up, people in the future, it's a great product that I think has set the test of time as as it's grown and improved. And I think the stream has indicated that it's definitely gone up in quality ever since. So I think the ceilings at the moment. All right. Oh, man, that's like the best comment we've ever had for our broadcast channel. Thank you so much for those kind words. We truly appreciate it. And thank you so much for uh, coming out here, giving us some great product on track, great racing. And uh, James, we hope to see you in the next one. Yes, sir.